Good morning, I mean afternoon. <laughs> uh, my name is Martin, Martin, you can call me Martin. I'm from the south side of Chicago and I'm here at Michigan, U Michigan, in Ann Arbor doing a program called the Dorsu Conservation Scholars Program. Um, they told me to tell y'all well, I'm awesome and also to talk about the art fair, so here it goes. Um, I'm trying to save the planet, that's why I'm in the Dorsu Conservation Scholars Program. Um, I want to work for the EPA. Right now we have Scott Pruitt um, as the leader of the EPA. And so I want to replace him. That's basically what I'm trying to do. So here I am on uh, TV telling you what I'm going to do in a few years. Um, and yeah, that's what the program is about, um, being environmentally conscious. I'm interested in issues of social justice, of environmental injustice. I recently helped out with um, the Flint water crisis. I gave out water to um, the elderly and also um, people who have special needs, and that was um, very fulfilling um, for me. Um, and the art fair, um, I've really been enjoying it. Um, I've been adding to my Instagram page, and y'all should follow me. It's uh, Vida Litz, and um, I'm posting on the art fair um, like all these paintings that really speak to me. There was this one artist. Um, what he painted about was he had like animals, like chimpanzees, and like all these uh, all this wildlife and he showed like a depiction of like how um, the commercialist society in which we live in the capitalistic place we are living in um, it's just the, the exploiting of resources like in Africa wherever a lot of the animals were African so um, yeah he's it, that art just really spoke to me it created uh, strong like emotions uh, stirrings within me so yeah, that's why I really like the art fair. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, um, shout out to uh, CTN. Uh, I don't know what it stands for, but y'all are great. Uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nadia Costa, and I recently moved to Ypsilanti, Michigan. And I really appreciate the art fair and all the paintings and original pottery. Yep. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kathy Hemingway, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Ann Arbor is always a favorite place for me because I'm an alumni of the U of M twice over. I think the art fair is a great time to just enjoy and take in all the art and just take in all the people. And it's just a fun place to be. So come on out if you can, and have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, my name is Katerina. I'm from Dexter and I think the art fair is fun. I don't know, I came with my family, so just hanging out for a little bit. I'm Susan, I'm from Ann Arbor. I'm enjoying the art fair. I'm here with my cousin, my daughter, and all the art. Hi, I'm Paula, and I'm from Chicago. And I come every year to the art fair because I love to see the art, and I love to buy art and have it in my house. Hey, Ann Arbor, this is Rob a real Ann Arbor originate and whenever I'm in Ann Arbor I like to listen to cable TV at the fire station or wherever it is now and all I gotta say about art fair is it ain't art it ain't fair we all know cuz we are there lines of booths are in the streets of bourbon heads think it's neat thank you very much that's my art fair rap or art fear I'm Dana Denhun. This is Art Fair Close Up 2017. I'm here with Steve and Valerie Door. Door, Door. Yes. It's just spelled a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, and why don't you tell me a little bit about your artwork here that you're selling at the 2017 Fair? Uh, we do wood turnings. Uh, we do bowls, pins, hollow farms, uh, platters, pendants, uh, all made from wood. And a lot of our wood is domestic, like the necklace that I have on is from the Joplin oak trees that were at the high school when the tornado hit us in Missouri six years ago. But then we have exotic wood from Australia as well as yeah. South America, etc. So when you're getting so sort of your found local wood, how do you go about getting it? <laughs> our, our local wood, we have people that will call us uh, and say, hey, we're cutting down a tree, would you be interested? Um, I have one tree that I call my a uh, tree that I've driven by for about five years that I've had my eye on. Finally, the guy says, okay, I'm ready to cut it down. You can have it. <laughs> so we, we search, but we don't go out and purposely cut down trees just for turning. We'll, we'll take what people have. Maybe the power company has cut some down, and we'll get, get it that way. So what uh, is the purpose of getting some sort of exotic woods then? For color and the, the variation of the, um, color the grain. grain. Mm -hmm. Right. 
you know, I've got like a purple heart necklace and it looks, you know, totally different in color yeah. than the rest of them. So what do you do to the wood once you get it? How are, you, how are these pieces being created? Um, we turn them on a lathe. Uh, we'll cut them into what we call turning blanks. Uh, and then if it's still wet, we'll seal it with paraffin wax so to slow down the drying process. Mm -hmm. And then we'll turn it on a lathe, uh, do the shaping and everything with the tools that we have, the, the gouges. And then like some of them, like the, the red piece over there, uh, we dye that. I dye it black sand it back, then dye it red, and then put on my high gloss finish and make the finials for them. So. And then after you use your, you can use the paraffin wax to get your hands all soft afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Except it's a little too hot to do that. <laughs> um, what kind of glaze are you using for wood? Because I've never actually seen, like that does not look like wood to me, that red piece. That, that one has a polyurethane finish on it. Uh, some of my others have uh, a CA finish, which is more commonly referred to as super glue. Okay. You know, like the uh, the one, the three there, and then the three over there. They have the super glue finish on them. And, and my necklaces yes. have like 20 coats of super glue and a lot of sanding. Yeah. Well, I can't imagine. I feel like your fingers would be stuck together all the time. <laughs> no, not really. You learn how not to do you that <laughs> quickly. You learn. So, what got you both interested in using wood as a medium? I, I started making furniture back in 85 and I was working full time and it just took forever, t six months to a year to finish a project. And then uh, about 12 or 13 years ago I started looking at wood, wood turnings and I thought, you know, that looks interesting. And so about 10 years ago I bought a lathe and started turning and don't make furniture anymore. <laughs> what about you? I started because I'm going to inherit all the tools and all the wood in the basement and they're going to be mine, all mine, one of these days. So I'm learning how to use them. So you're typically, yours are like the necklaces? And the natural edge bowls, the, the ones with the bark on them. Okay. That's what I've done. Okay. Uh -huh. And do you guys work together or are you working separately? Um, we have our lathes right next to each other, you know, so, you know, mine's, she's behind me and every once in a while, one of us to say, okay, I'm done working because I'm getting shavings all over me, you know. From the other one. <laughs> From yeah, the other yeah, one, yeah. so. But it, it but, works but out But we work well. most of the time together in the shop. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a website people can go to? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, www.thewooden, uh, T-H-E-W-O-O-D-E-N, door, D-O-E-R-R, dot com. Do you ever get jokes about your name being door, doors are made of wood? Well. <laughs> Only when I was teaching. Yeah. <laughs> I and, can't and, see through you, Mrs. Door. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the name of our, our company, so to speak, is The Wooden Door, and she came up with that, you know. So it's since, awesome. It yeah, works so out perfectly it for does. you. Yes, yeah. it, does. it does. Why should people visit you at the 2017 Art Fair? Uh, we have very unique turnings, uh, usable, functional, as well as visual right. uh, art turnings. Yep. So, All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for tuning in to Art Fair Close-Up 2017. Social media is everywhere in Ann Arbor, and so is CTN. You can find CTN on your smartphone, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can always check us out at www.a2gov.org slash CTN. Hashtag us at hashtag CTN Ann Arbor. there was some place I could watch my favorite local TV shows. You are in a computer terminal.
Who said that? I am the god of computers, electrical devices, oh. and social media interfaces. This is awesome! I heard your wish and granted you access to my terminal. Whoa, really? I've always wanted to be inside one of these things. So what's next? Visit CTNs and the City of Ann Arbor's streaming and video on demand 82gov.org slash watch CTN. This is awesome! What do I do there? Here you can watch city meetings, community produced programs, school board and education programming, and a whole lot more. Yes! This is great! The live streams include CTN's four channels, government, public, educational, and community. Just click the sidebar for the channel you prefer and click play. There's four channels here. I can watch four channels. Cool. The video on demand option lists city meetings and CTN series and drop down folders for a quick and easy viewing process. Programs are listed by dates or you can sort by title. Are you kidding me? I wish I knew about this earlier. Visit 82gov.org slash watch CTN for CTN live streams and video on demand. That's great. Now I can go tell my friends once I leave. So uh, how do I get out of here? Goodbye. Hello? How do I get back to my life? I've got stuff to do. I mean... Hello? Hello? This... Okay, I mean, I thought there'd be more to my life, but this is it? Hello, Ann Arbor. My name is Janae Sims. Uh, I was born and raised here. And what I like about the art fair is I've been coming here since I was a kid. My parents kept bringing me here. I've came here, I think, every single year since maybe I was five. So it's a nice experience to see all the art, see tons of people, see my high school friends I haven't seen in a while. So a lot of fun. Thanks. Hi. I'm Ramya. I'm Indian. I uh, 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 biomedical engineering in Michigan. In this art fair, I like the uh, vibe and atmosphere. I like to go to the mingle and jolly. And it's also very fun and entertaining. And it has a lot of nice things to do, happening around. Thank you. Nice. Hey. Former Michigan graduate and CTN alumnus. So, way to go, guys. Have a great day. My, hi, my name is Lorenzo Tolemico. I am um, I'm a little bit Italian, but I'm mostly um, American. And what I like about the art fair is that when, like, all these people are, like, making things so, like, other people can buy them. And they look very cool. <laughs> Go. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm Brianna. We're from Westland, and welcome to the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Um, I am Luke Shirtliff, and uh, um, I'm from Ann Arbor, and uh, what do you like about the art fair? About. Uh, I like all the art and stuff. Hi, I'm Will, and this is my son Luke, and we are just enjoying the art fair. Both local from Ann Arbor. Hello, Ann Arbor. Hey, I was born in Ann Arbor, the old St. Joe Hospital. Here for the art fair. It is great, looking good, nice and warm, weather's good, everybody's happy, looking good. Hi, I'm Phyllis Anderson. I'm from Westland, Michigan, and I love the art fair because there's every type of art you could imagine, and I love bringing my family here. I've been coming since the 80, late 80s, and I continue to come to this very day. I'll be here next year. Bye-bye.
My name is Bill Anderson. I'm from Westland, Michigan, originally from Romulus, and I really enjoy the art show and here in Ann Arbor every year. Me and my wife have been coming here for years. We've been married now uh, 37 years, and, and this is where we began. It's really great. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Gary Vartanian, and I'm here at the Art Fair to let people uh, raise some awareness about bunker fuel. It's a major problem for polluting the oceans in the world. Uh, they need to be banned right away. One, one container ship powered by bunker fuel will uh, pollute as much as 10 coal fire power plants. Nobody knows about it. Look it up online and uh, contact your po local politicians. We're having a good time here at the Art Fair. Weather's perfect. Hey, my, na my name's Saul. I'm here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair and uh, having a good time. <laughs> All right, uh, my name is Melo. Uh, this is my second year here at the Art Fest. I really like the Art Fest and uh, I like the cre creativity and like humans and stuff like, cause we could do a lot of stuff and we could create a lot of stuff and we just gotta put our mind to it and just go out there and make it physical so we can see it, you know? And it's, I love coming here, you know? I love seeing just all the stuff that people make and create. And that's why I love the art fest. In residential areas surrounding the University of Michigan, it's commonplace to see upholstered furniture on porches. So I'd like to talk to you about the dangers of combustibles on porches. To sustain a fire, you need three things. Fuel, anything combustible or flammable. Heat, an ignition source, and oxygen. For a fire to ignite and continue to burn, all three elements must be present. Porches do not have early warning devices like smoke detectors. And with a fuel source like old sofas, chairs, and trash storage, this is a recipe for danger. Heat will radiate to the upholstered furniture, causing a rapid buildup of heat and gases. Fire needs oxygen to burn, and it will travel toward the nearest oxygen source. Fire can spread quickly, blowing out windows and spreading into a house. With the ready supply of oxygen, fire is allowed to burn freely. As long as a free-burning fire has fuel, it will double in size every 45 seconds. This fire burned rapidly, but a poster furniture outdoors is even more susceptible to fire due to weathering, giving it the potential to spread at an alarming rate. Heat and smoke will rise to the highest point and then begin to spread outward to the ceiling of a room or up the stairs to the second floor, causing a chimney effect. At ceiling level, temperatures in a fire can reach up to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. At this level, Temperatures are around 800 degrees. That's why it's important to stay low. The first priority of the Ann Arbor Fire Department is the safety of all its citizens. So don't keep anything on the porch that can give a fire the fuel it needs to grow. Battalion 2 to dispatch. Fire's under control. Everyone's out safe. Do you ever get sick and tired of picking up dog poo? I get tired of picking up dog poop all the gosh darn time. Well, then you're in luck with my new Poo Picker Up Me Up. Oh, gee, willikers. Would you ever consider buying a car apartment? No. No. Hey, Dad, why don't you buy me that new popular toy that's going around these days? Christmas is a coming. Santa's dead. It's kids' guns, it's kids' guns. Don't 
shoot your eye out. Oh, jeez, I seem to hurt myself real bad, Dad. Side effects may include internal bleeding. And then, we will take one cup of sugar. For a limited time only, you can get shrimp and fish inside of another fish. Hey, sweetie. Why don't you take a look over here and watch your favorite local programs all night long on CTN's four whole channels. Night owls can enjoy shows such as FYI, Access Ann Arbor, War Talk, and a whole lot more all after midnight in part of CTN's extended program hours. For more information, go to a2gov.org slash ctn or call us at 734-794-6100. Hope to hear from you soon. This is Angela Arboretum. Stay tuned for late night CTN programming. My name is Diamond Tyler, and I love the Ann Arbor Art Show. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jacqueline Walker. I am enjoying the many different talents at Ann Arbor Art Fair. I am a poet, and I've written a few books, and maybe I'll share a few verses. Be like the willow. No matter how hard it seems, Reach your goals and live your dreams. Replace your fears with bravery. Turn your dreams into reality. Smile when you want to cry. Always give it one more try. For all the obstacles that come your way, sacrifice and hard work will one day pay. Thank you. That's just part of it. Hi, I'm Sue Henderson and I'm at the art fair with my husband, Ross Conley, here to look for treasures of dog prints. Hi. I'm here at the Art Fair in Iron Arbor. My name is Ross Connolly. Any special talents? You saw that photo bomb that I did to my wife and stuff, whatever. I love Ann Arbor. This is a great time of the year and it's not raining at the moment. Cool. I'm Shannon. I'm Taylor. I'm Tim. And uh, it's our first year in Ann Arbor. We came from the Pacific Northwest, so uh, <laughs> we're loving Art Fair so far. <laughs> yeah. It's not his it's, first year. It's not my first year. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> What's going on, Ann Arbor? I'm at the Ann Arbor Art Fair because I really like sculptures. Anything like clay, that's my stuff. Hi, my name's Alex Eitlin. I'm just perusing the art fair um, like I do every year. So, yeah, that's all I got. All right. Hi, I'm Peter DeYoung. I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan, but I live here now as a student. And um, I like the art fair because I get to be on TV sometimes. Oh, Molly's got oh wow! A lot of um, I'm Molly, and this is Danny, and I'm from Michigan, and I'm from California, and, and we like art fair because, well, I like art fair because I like to see how the interesting things. That people <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of All right. Any talents? Any talents? Any what? Any talents like if you can do a backflip? Oh sure. Hi, my name is Ann Siganski. I'm here in Ann Arbor, Michigan for the best art show around. And the reason why I'm here is because my sister and I needed a day together. And this, this is the greatest art show ever. We've enjoyed every, every minute of it. And uh, what, what, we got here about 3.30 and we're staying to the end. Are there any 
and I won't do any back bends. But thank you, sir. My name is John Mitchell. I'm from Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We're here to do the show, the craft show. My partner, my girlfriend, Max. Beautiful feather mask. It sells real well. We enjoy our Ann Arbor. It's a beautiful town. And uh, keep up the good work, y'all. Uh, hello, Ann Arbor. Uh, I'm Junqi Wang. I'm from China. Uh, I come to Art Fair every year just for because here lots of interesting stuff. Mm, yeah. So, Ni Hao Arbor. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Drake, and the reason why we're at the Art Fair is just because it's my half birthday, and we thought there might be some kid stuff around here. So we might buy that. And one of my special talents is soccer. And hi. What's your mother's name? Megan. Megan from another come in. Come in. Okay, okay, it's fine. Yeah, and one of my favorite video games is Minecraft. Okay. Hello, Ann Arbor. Uh, this is Bob Kumjathi from Brighton, Michigan. I'm down here taking photographs of the uh, art fair, uh, just trying to contrast colors. So, great place. Hi, uh, I'm Jamie Krasinski, and this is... Ingrid Krasinski. And we're here at the art fair. My favorite thing is all of the different artists from all over the country. What about you, Ingrid? Uh, my favorite thing is just looking at the art. Excellent. Have fun, everyone. Um, What's your name? My name is Carolyn. Where, where are you from? I'm from Ann Arbor. And what do you like about the art fair? Um, I like looking at all the art. And it. Anything okay. else you want to say to the world? Uh, Ann Arbor is cool. Yeah. Hi, from Ann Arbor. I go to the University of Michigan, and I am down here at the art fair. And... Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Thank you. I am Jay. Uh, I'm happy to be here at the 2017 Ann Arbor Art Fair. Great night, great weekend, great venue. Go Blue. Oh, my goodness. You, you better join me here. Hi, Ann Arbor. This is Femi O'Denton uh, saying hi to everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Hi. Uh, Hi, I'm Jack. Uh, I'm here at the art fair because my uh, parents took me here. Hi, uh, my name is Carlos. Her name is Alana. Alana. Yeah, uh, I'm from Mexico. She's I'm from Canton. Yeah, uh, Michigan. it's really nice to be here. You should just come every year. We love the art fair. Just oh. enjoy it. Uh, bienvenidos a Ann Arbor. Les presentamos la Feria del Arte. Ojalá vengan aquí todos los días. Eh, de jueves a domingo. Los esperamos. Esto muy, muy bonito. Sí. <laughs> Hello, I'm Batman, and I'm here to check out the art fair. I've been coming here for about five years. I love it. Ciao. <laughs>